So we're on section 3-5, solving equations, variables on both sides. Anybody know how to do that? Shannon, you know how to do this? What are we looking for? What are we trying to solve? Guyana, do you know? Shannon, what are we doing here? Good. But we've got 9x here and 3x there, so which one of those x's are we trying to get? You combine them. Good. Now there are two ways to combine it, right? There are two ways to go here, and I know you can do either way. I am advocating, I'm advocating moving uh, the, the big rock stays where it is. Move the small rocks. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense, doesn't it? This is the big rock, that's the small rock. Move the small rock. Here's what I say. Negative 3x minus 3x. Why? Because when you leave the big rock where it is, you're always going to end up with a positive rock. That is okay? positive. There you go. So what is 9x minus 3x? 6x. Then we've got 6x minus 6 equals 0. We add 6 and we're almost home free. We shouldn't have any problem with that. I'm going to put an arrow to show it. 6x equals 6 divided by 6. Everybody knows how to do that. x equals 1. We're done. Well, All I, right? I did it so much. That's fine. But there are other ways to do it. OK, well, you mean 9 to subtract. So let's do what you mean to say, which is to subtract 9x. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can do it. The only thing is you're moving the big rock. And when you move the big rock, you're doing more work. Why? Because you're dealing with negatives. Negatives are tough. They're hard to move. They're, they can make you they make mistakes. They're slippery. They're no fun. They got moss all over them. Whatever it is you want to think about. This cancels. You get minus 6 equals to what? Negative 6. Negative 6x? I added 6. Okay. You could have done that too. That would have been yeah. one step you could have done. But here, now we divide by what? Divide by what, Tamara? Um, Got to pay attention. You're not paying attention. What do you divide by? Negative six. Right. Hey. Good. Thank you, Amanda. What do we get? Right. Same answer, right? We got it two different ways, but it's the same answer. If you had added six first, you still could have got the same answer. It wouldn't have been any different. Nine x minus six equals three x, and we add six first, and there's no problem. We get nine x equals three uh, x plus six. And then we subtract 3x, it's the same thing, yeah. we get 6x equal to 6, x equal to 1, same thing either way, no matter what you do, same 6. 5x minus 2 equals 6 plus x, and all these are on page 137, by the way, this is it. Alright, 5x minus 2 equals 6 plus x, what's our first step? Which rock do we want to move, 5x or x? Which one's bigger? The little rock. Let's move the little rock, Arkansas. Right over here, what do we get? I was just throwing it in there, you know, I wasn't trying to be funny. Oh, yeah. oh, no, I was not trying to be funny. I was just seeing if you could get it. I, it's capital. I know. Okay. Hey, Sophia, what do you get in here? What's happening? You subtract the 5x minus x. What do you get? 4x. Okay, write it down, Stephen. I am. Okay, good. I am. I think, therefore, I am. Are we following that, Amanda? Yeah. Okay, Stephen, what do we do next? We're on our way, right? Plus 2. Right. Plus 2. And we get 4x, right? Equals four, and we're almost done. What do we do uh, to no, finish it? Eight. Eight. Oh, it equals eight. My God. Woo. Bye, Bye, Bye God. Wow. What do we get, Taylor? Marshall, what do we get? Come on. X equals what? Get your hands out of your pocket. Thank you. X equals two. Nice, nice job. Pocket. Are we clear on that? Pretty easy. How about that one, Mickey? What are we doing? What's our first step? Combine your like terms. Combine like terms. Well, we got a four X here and a four X here. What can we do? Uh, you can subtract the four X. Just eliminate them. Elimination. We also have a negative x. Guess what? That's gone. That's gone. You subtracted 4x from both sides. They're gone. We rewrite it. Always oh, rewrite. Write it out. Write it out. Okay, so 5 minus 7 equals 3 minus x. Okay? Now what? Well, like you said, combine like terms. What's 5 minus 7? Alex. 5 minus 7 is negative 2. Nice job. Equals 3 minus x. Now what do we do? What are we searching for? We're looking for this, right? So what do we do? What's in the way? Yeah, so what do we do to get rid of it? Yes, and what do we get? These cancel. What do we have on this side? Negative 5 equals, now careful, careful. So what's our answer? What do we have to do to get negative x on its own? It's, no, no, you can do this. What? Look at this, invisible 1, remember? Boom. Now what do we do? By what? By one. Negative by, one. I know, I, I thought, that's what I thought you said. Divide by negative one, and there we go. What's our answer? Over a negative one, which is two negatives make a? Right, so our answer is? Five. There you go. Nice job, Alex. You know this stuff. 18, number 18 on page 137. 
3D minus 10 equals 5. Oh, now what do we have that's different than the other ones? What's so different about this, Gabby? Oh, distributive. Distributive, right stuff. There we go. So we do that first, 5D minus 20, and then we have the same sort of problem. Where's the big rock that we, won't, that we don't want to move? What don't we want to move? Guyana. We're not going to move that. We're not touching the big rock. Even though it's on the right, I like to leave it on the right. You see what I'm saying, Pepper? Yeah. Okay, Marshall, which rock are we moving? The big rock. Don't want to move the big rock. One is small. That one's 3D, so we subtract 3D. Okay, we're in 3D here. Minus 10 equals 2D minus 20. Now we're almost, we're almost there. What are we doing, Alex? Come on, Alex. No. Negative 20, we want to do the inverse. Add. Add 20, right? Right. And now what is negative 10 plus 20? 10. Negative 10. No. No. <laughs> negative 10 plus 20. What is it? Positive. Right, that's what I thought you said. 10 equals 2D. Now we're almost done. What do we do? So what do we get? Five. Good stuff. Man, the guy's on a roll here. He got two in a row and they were both answer five. Okay. Before you do anything else, you get 5T plus 15 plus 9 plus 3. Okay, everybody write that down. Thank you, Melanie. I think it's like one of those aerobics teachers, Melanie. <laughs>